Hey guys, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you the quickest way to create clouds. And it's really like almost a one click to get some clouds, and then I'll show you some variations on how you can change those clouds. So let's get started. I pulled in this photo from Stock Photos, and I have the link below in the description. So if you want to use the same photo, you can. And I'm going to try and make this as simple as I can, but really it's almost nothing to it. It's a one click, unless you really want to mask a whole bunch of stuff out. And in this case, I'm not even going to do much masking. I'm going to do some simple masking. So let's just do this. And the overlay can be any color. This is black, but if I don't want it to be black, it doesn't even matter. So I'll just prove it to you. I will make it a red color. And the color has no bearing on how this is going to end up. And now all you have to do is filter, colors, procedural texture. And the first one I'm going to show you is I'm going to go to down here, slide down and go thin clouds and hit apply. Now, by the way, I can make these clouds brighter if I want. So you can decide on how bright you want it to be. And I'm just going to hit apply. And now here's the, here's the magic. All you have to do is hit normal, go from normal and go to screen. And there, there's your clouds. I could have masked out the sky ahead of time and then did it. In this case, it's so much easier. I'll add a mask and I'll select that mask and I will paint in black because black makes the mask disappear. So I'll make sure that with the br wide brush, a wide soft brush, I'm going to choose black. And all I have to do is go like, this and once again you can mask it all out really nice I'm just going to be very quickly giving you an example just like that and that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned and I think that's it and so there you go and if you wanted to take some of those clouds off the bottom because maybe you didn't want them so low go really wide with a soft brush and you can kind of fade them into the background like that. So that's the first clouds. And also you can duplicate this control command J and make them brighter clouds. And then if you don't like, if you think it was too bright, just change your opacity. So that's the first set of clouds. So I'm going to hide that now. Let's delete them. In fact, I'm just going to delete them. I don't need it. So now the second set of clouds is pretty interesting. Once again, um, I will just create a rectangle over this whole thing and I could also go right to here because I'm just going to be erasing the bottom anyway so this time I'll just go to here or maybe even here closer to where the water line is and then I will do filter color procedural texture and I will do thin clouds again but this time on the first one, the first one is this number, this 300 is horizontal and the second 300 is vertical. I'm going to bring this way up, maybe like 3100. And then I'll say apply. And again, I could go brighter or softer, but I'll just leave it where it is and say apply. And what do you do next? Simple, you go to screen. I will mask it. And on the mask, I will paint in black. And I think most of it's done, but I will just take some of the clouds out of here and on her head. Now, you, you know, you again, you'll have things where you'll have to mask much harder. This is a pretty easy one. My whole point was just to show you how to create clouds. So I'm just going to do this for now. And I, you could see that I didn't even you could see I even didn't do a great job when I went over the waterline. So I'm going to just fade that out, too, with a very wide brush again. On the mask in black, I'm just going to fade all that out like that. And of course up here, I could duplicate that again to make it brighter clouds and change the opacity. Let's say you just wanted to create something from scratch, like you don't have a photograph. Then what you could do, and let's hide all of this right now. So now if you wanted to start something from scratch without any sky behind it, just pick a color for the sky. So let's say instead of green, which is not a good color, you could do a gradient, but in this case, I'm just going to do, say, that's the blue I want the sky to be. Well, now I just have to duplicate it, Control Command J, and on the top one, filter, color, 
procedural texture. It's going to rasterize it. And then you go to thin clouds. And I think in this case, I would like the clouds maybe to be instead of 300, let's try 2000. And, and then we say apply. And then of course, screen. And there, so you just created your own clouds again. And once again, duplicate if you want it brighter and change the opacity if you want it a little less than that. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye.